Can you tell me a little bit more about uh, why you're out here for or what you're advocating for or against? Well, the fact is that both the Klan and the Nazis are terrorists and that the United States government is tolerating a terrorist organization within its boundaries. We know what they did to uh, civil rights workers that were trying to get the vote in the 1960s. They murdered them, okay, with police cooperation. Uh, uh, Goodman, Schwerner, and uh, the other fellow, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name, senior moment here. The important thing to remember about what's going on today is that the present administration, the Trump administration, they like these guys. These guys like Trump. Um, they are slowly trying to institute fascism. For example, what they've done to federal workers, where they are no longer allowing federal unions to maintain an office uh, where uh, they are in the workplace. They've cut down the number of hours that federal stewards uh, for uh, AFGE and other federal uh, unions can spend, uh, you know, uh, meeting with members to 24 hours in a year. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who uh, is in the, still working in the federal government, I used to, I, I don't anymore, but um, he told me it, to him it, uh, it's similar to what happened in uh, Italy under Mussolini, uh, under fascism where the first thing that they went after was the unions. The first thing that they go after is getting racists all together, okay, um, to do horrible things, to do, do terrorist acts. And, and terrorism, you, know, we, you, you define terrorism as like using violence to achieve political ends, right? No, I'm talking about the assassination of civil rights leaders in the 1960s. These people who are here, uh, that's their heritage. Okay, That's so you're, you'd about. Be, you're against violent groups then that seems to go out there and, and do this onto peaceful people? I'm for self defense. For Black self -defense, people right. have to defend themselves, yeah, uh, you know, against, uh, you know, nutcases like we got across the street here. Um, they yeah. simply think that black people are going to take their jobs. The problem is that computers and machines have taken the jobs. I used to work at a steel mill, you know. A blast furnace now can make 10, 20 times what a blast furnace used to make, and in less time. And the jobs have all gone overseas. Am I going to blame that on you know workers in a blast furnace in South Africa? No, but they, these guys do because they they're the, uh, they're stupid. They, they don't understand that the capitalist system wants to get rid of all workers and replace us with robots. Where have all the file clerks But gone? you do Where? need robot makers. You need people to program those robots. You need people to go to this kiosk, right? There are workers. Robots can't do this for themselves, right? Robots are making the robots already. Now, if you're against, I would say, fascism, groups that have, uh, have a history of doing violence onto peaceful people, would you also be consistent to also advocate against communism and within their own history of also murdering tens of millions of people as well? I'll tell you this, okay? Fascism came first. The history of every place where there's been a socialist revolution or a communist revolution or a leftist revolution, however you want to characterize that in uh, your own um, way of confusing the two is simply wrong. That the fact is that where there have been socialist revolutions, it's been in response to people being thrown into abject poverty and the wealthy doing nothing about it. If you don't want to have socialists and communists creating violence, then create jobs. But it's not possible under this system because this system wanted workers in the past when there was the need for people to operate machinery. So what did they do? They kidnapped people in Africa and brought them here as slaves. They tried to enslave Native Americans, but they couldn't. But they stole their land to build the factories. They brought people over from uh, Europe, the poor of Europe. You know, we've got uh, people here uh, now that uh, just like the fascists and Trump hate the immigrants, well, back in the day, it was the Italians and the Poles they hated. It's the same thing. It's the same race hatred. It's the same 
tactic of the wealthy trying to divide the working class, trying to get white people angry at black people. And thank goodness, people are better educated. How many you count over there, would yeah, you say? Some. What do you How say then the people who there? run these countries, like in Venezuela, and they say it's a socialist country, you would say that it's not a socialist country in which the people are going out there starving in Massey and eating animals from the zoos? Um, what's your name, sir, and My what, name is uh, what's and what uh, news organization do you Independent, represent? Independent, Liberate, from Richmond. Nonpartisan, nonpolitical. Well, you're political because no. you, you support the concept that all violence is the same. And that Violating is consent. Pat yeah. If I was to punch you in the nose right now and, and you defend, well, yeah. so you see, yeah. that's, that's what communism defense. and socialism and all leftist movements, unions, okay, for example, that's what they're all about. They're about self-defense, just as if I would punch you in the face. But you don't understand that difference. You need to read more history about socialism. Senate. about the roots of socialism, that the fact that it's a response against the grinding poverty and exploitation of the poor. You so don't you get say, that. You would disqualify all the history of the people who have escaped from communist Russia and their own story saying they were sent to gulags just for being an artist, just for speaking out for people under Mao's uh, It was communism. more than that. That's what your newspapers, you say you're independent media. Realize that 90-some percent of the media is owned by wealthy this people. Is, this is first and they testimony. only want you, pardon? This is, this is the testimony of the people who have escaped, not just the media. This is their own reflection, their own stories right. of the poverty that they've been right. driven into. My grandfather escaped from communist Cuba. Henry himself has told all of the great ah, poverty that has now done Now you should well. have said that up front. Why is that? Because you're prejudiced. I'm prejudiced. against the Cuban government. Well, I'm against fascism and communism. I'm against all kinds of forms of political violence. Against peaceful people, yes. You have a prejudice when, against... All right. When Batista, when Batista's people were pulling the fingernails out of people and torturing people, okay. When Che Guevara was murdering kids, children. Oh, you have swallowed a big lie, sir. Made many That's, racist statements against blacks. You don't have not read his journals, sir. Right. Sir, this conversation is an yeah, end. Yeah, let's go because we have to take anywhere. this one. All right. I don't want to steal your thunder. <laughs> yeah, that's like I said, my White males get to talk enough. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. I don't know, white women do too. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are you out here marching for or against? I see your sign. Uh, yeah, just I can't believe that we're still arguing about this, that it's even a question. Like, I just, it's insane that we're still, how is this not obvious? Like, how are people not, like, on board that this is, <laughs> like, that, there's a racist in the White House and that he thinks that there are good people out there on that side. Like it just, I can't believe we even have to discuss this at this point. It's crazy to me. <laughs> and then they're like, uh, some of these socialists are coming out here or national socialists. They yeah. still think that national socialists can still work, right? Uh, I mean, I think it's not, I don't think they're that organized. I think they think that they're, they think they're all right. They've rebranded, like they think that they're, you know, they even, you know, they, they try to twist like Martin Luther King's words to be like, oh, you know, we're the real anti-racists. But it's, you know, they're for white supremacy. It's not, there's not like a question. So, yeah. Uh, so how, white supremacy, you define this like uh, a group of people who advocate, I guess, what, for their own community or for like the abolishment of other communities? How would you define uh, white supremacy? I mean, they think that that they think that you know white people were given this land by God for you know white our purposes to just use however we want, and that uh, immigrants aren't welcome. That somehow you know white culture is better. They think all this kind of crap, which is just not true. Like this country was built by immigrants, and we're immigrants, and God doesn't give people countries. <laughs> That's not how that works. Right. There's so. uh, Jews who think that that all the wise, right? In uh, Israel, they think that God gave them their own country and they yeah, have their own I, kind of Jewish supremacy. I I can't go there. That's, you know, I'm not going to. Okay, so what, what do you think about them, though? I'm uh, not going to. I'm done. You're done? Okay. All <laughs> I'm right. done. Okay. <laughs>